All right, so we're back and better than ever. Um, episode three of the Eddie V podcast, and I got the original crew from episode one, where all we did was the audio. Hi, I'm Adrian. Uh, I was on episode one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? You remember me? I'm Antoine Cornelius Jermaine the <laughs> Third, aka Tony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget, I am also your car sales consultant. Anyways, what's up, y'all? How you doing? Back from episode one. The last time we hung out was last podcast, so I think that speaks for itself as far as what I've been up to. Yeah, I guess. How is that, man, being a dad? It is Mm. tough. It is tough, and it is oddly uh, really, really, really satisfying, too. <laughs> uh, it's one of the, people say it's one of the most rewarding things you can do. I think it's true. Uh, you're literally watching a human being grow up from nothing. Yeah, and then seeing the person that grows up out of that, right? Because they're not going to agree with everything you say, and they're going to let you know, because kids, right. don't, kids don't care about your feelings. That's right. That's right. You know, seeing the little personality that he has, the attitudes that he has... <laughs> You know, even though it, it might piss me off in the moment, it's, you know, seeing him develop as a character is a beautiful thing. 100%. That's awesome. Well, oh, cheers yeah. to that, man. What about you, Tony? What What's you been up to, man? Um, basically, dude, I'm just uh, working my ass off. Just trying to sell some cars. Yeah, holla at you, boy. Get out, Mickey! All right. Um, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a grind itself. And then on my off time, you know, I got to spend it with the girls, a.k.a. my girl. All right. Girlfriend, right. Yep, yep, yep. And the dog. You know, that's our that's our fur baby, if you will. And uh she's very needy in the evening because we're gone all day. So, you know, when I see her, I'm the one that's gonna take care of her and rough house with her and you know, make sure she gets all her energy out. You know, I'm the I'm that the the fun dad for her. Um uh, I don't have the experiences of Adrian's with an actual child. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know. But I do have a responsibility of a fucking energetic ass dog. And she's one and a half years old, beautiful German Shepherd. I love her to death. And um Adrian, you're doing a fucking amazing job, by the way. Nah, man. It's 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 way easier than I thought it'd be. Everybody yeah. says parenting's hard's a liar. They're just but, lazy. But <laughs> question, God, question too. Hey. I have a question on that. No shots fired. <laughs> <right? Yeah. laughs> I'm just joking around. I'm just joking around. I've hey. had a lot of help. Yeah. A lot of help. Look, 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 one okay. question on that, right? Do you see a difference from yourself from like when you when you didn't have the kid or before you even knew you, you know, Cindy was pregnant? Do you see the change in you after you know you had Elliot and you see Elliot growing up as a dad? Uh, there's okay. So when people say that they're like totally different people after they they have kids, I understand how having a child might change somebody, especially if they. Uh, I don't. I don't know. The, I mean, the thing is, a lot of different people can be changed by by parenthood. The only things that really that change are like my priorities. Yeah, <laughs> right. like okay. I, did I mean, not that's good. That's, or, I mean, it's or, not a bad thing though. Behavioral patterns or habits. Yeah, no, not a lot of that. No, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> no, no, no I just kind of still smoking. I just kind of make sure he's good. And if he's good, then I'm good. You know, and then every now and then, you know. <laughs> no, that's good. I mean, that that's a, I, I would say this. Uh, it's not a bad thing because one, that means you know who you are. How but old is Elliot going to be? He's going to be three this uh, spring. Spring? Spring 2023. My boy's going to be three. Uh, what month? <laughs> Do you want a social? <laughs> oh, the mother truck. Hey, he's yeah, asking it wrong. Was okay, it? I'm sorry. Okay. My bad. Go ahead, <laughs> I got, like, I'll take over that department. April? <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that I'm a Taurus. I don't really know about any other zodiac signs. I have it tatted on me. You know, I know hey, that yo, first, first tattoo. It, it yeah, it was my first tattoo actually in Austin with uh, Eddie and Lamont. Oh, dude, dude I was Lamont. there. Yeah. Oh my God. You were there for my first tattoo, buddy. <laughs> yeah, let's go. There's one right here. That's right. I was there. Yeah, buddy. And it was getting weird. What? Keep Austin weird. But Adrian started his tattoos very early. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really early. I got my first tattoo when I was like, uh, I must have been 18. <laughs> yeah, I was in Mississippi. 
right after Die. army boot camp basic training uh in south carolina i went to mississippi to train oh. with the navy and then uh uh, in the middle of the training, all, all of us decided to get some tattoos, and boom, we got some tattoos. Mm. You don't have any ink on you. No, nah, dude, I'm ink-free. That Nothing. is amazing. That's incredible, honestly. There's one day, you're just going to see it, and you're just going to be like, I'm going to you know. know. It. Yeah. I want it. But where do yeah, you man. think even would if, you start? Even if you have to like create it. Because my, my, one of my things when getting a tattoo is like, man... I'm just going to pick something out of a book and this dude's just going to print it on me like he's printed it on who who knows how many other oh, people. <laughs> you know, like it, it wasn't like unique at all, right? Like, uh, like I don't want anything that you've put on anybody else. Gotcha. You want it? I, you know, like I, want, I want something. Yeah. Raw. Yes. Number one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Different. So, so, you know, he different. Came up, I'm he, different. I bounced, I'm I different. bounced <laughs> the ideas off of him and then, you know, boom, I got my first tattoo. Dude, that's that. sick, dude. So, you know, maybe something like that would, you know, I guess uh, help you get towards an idea. Maybe you know that, that we'll you see. would mind uh, being tattooed on you. But yeah. I also understand. Hey, yo, what like, the hell's going on over there? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> noises, bro? Yeah, how how young are you? Twenty one. Twenty six. Damn, <clears throat> that's nice. <laughs> yeah how you, how young are you? But are you gonna be twenty seven this year? Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be 26 in April. Yo, okay. I, uh, I've i been on this earth for a little minute now. Uh, things have been different. What do you feel? Time's moving, moving like it's moving kind of quick now? Honestly, I feel like it is moving faster now. But it's also perspective. Yeah. All right. Isn't that what like uh, Einstein said? Relative, relativity. I don't know what he said. Oh Wait. my god! Yeah, I don't know what he said. Real, real, real time, time is relative. Yes, exactly. My time rel- travel. My relative is a time traveler. So, uh, yeah. Um, as for me, like time goes by slowly. If I have like a nice little vacation, and I'm like out of state or some shit. It right? goes by slow for you. Yeah, usually because I get to actually slow down and like. Dude, that's Not awesome. Think. No, Not that's good. Think, that's good. Know. I mean, I, the reason I say that is most people that do go on vacation, um, time moves by kind of quick. Well, I guess you have, you know, time moves fast when you're having fun. Exactly. But it, I guess it depends on the person too. Yeah. It Some depends people, on like, your like, your, like yourself, you, you've you always been able to slow down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, are you enjoying every little moment mm-hmm. or are you just like, all right, what's the next thing to do? What's the next true, thing to do? True, true. You know, for me, it's like, Turn off the brain. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You see, I I give you props for that because I feel like I'm the complete opposite. I feel like mm-hmm. uh, I'm always on go. Yeah. And I'm, I don't know to shut it off. <laughs> so I mean, that's why I was just like, yo, I give you this one, bro, right here. <laughs> hit, the, hit the Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh what about you Adrian? What do you feel about that? What like uh like how fast time goes for me? I don't know. I kind of I kind of feel like it's always going by pretty slow. Mm. Uh maybe I don't know. Maybe like a week will go by and I'm just like, "Oh, that was it's Friday already." You yeah. know, you ever you ever had that feeling? Like, oh, yeah, 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 it's Friday already, you know? Life's life's a a, a journey. It's a roller coaster and I'm yeah. always down for the ride. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> I agree with you on that, bro. And I, I truly believe, like, uh, in our short span of life, it's all about experiences. And then you you are really privileged if you get to feel true emotions of, like, happiness, scared, you know, love, yep. regret, doubt, yep, all yep, that. Yep, 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 every, yep. every single emotion, it's a privilege. And that's a part of life. So if, like, a fish swims backwards, they're going to die? <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's with sharks. Like if they swim backwards, they like flood their gills or something. I don't. Know. I mean, something's going on when you're. I mean, when you think about it. I'm not a marine biologist, by the way. Please fact check me. I don't care. Well, I do know in Shark Boy and Lava Girl that shark, <laughs> the shark homie that was teaching Shark Boy how to swim in the water, he was like always forward, never back. So <laughs> that checks out, Tony. All right, but, you uh, saved I, there you go. Fuck with me. <laughs> what, what would you say is uh, say your best moment so far? 
or something that you would put on the on the highlight? Honestly, man, the, <laughs> when you said that, the first thing that came up to my head was the the first time I held my son in my hands, right? Oh, I remember good, what good. I was wearing, bro. Like, I remember the shirt. I remember everything. That's, that's probably one of my proudest moments right there, the, the moment I became a father. Right? I mean, I didn't, do, I didn't do much either, you know. Just At that point, I just waited around for nine months. So, yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker got a participation in the world. Like, I yeah, was dude, there. I was like, look what I did. You know? <laughs> Sydney's dying in the background. <laughs> yeah, he's the one holding the trophy. Like, like, patting oh himself on the back like, oh I did that. God. So I what was the qu- original question? I think we were talking about just life. Proudest moments. Proudest oh, yeah, moments. proudest moments. Yeah, go ahead, Eddie. Calling you out. Oh. Proudest moments. Mm, I would say... One that would go in the books for me would be when I wanted to quit credit repair. To go from selling furniture, something that you could touch, you could take home. Yeah. To selling a dream. Over over the phone, something that you're not taking home, something that you can't grab. It's just open up an app. But and it's not instant either. Yeah. You're selling an idea. A dream, a, the future. Over the phone, all you had to do, you know what? No thanks. Uh-huh. Done. Mm. And I wanted to quit, but I didn't. I don't know. That's not the type of person you are. You're not a quitter. And that's that's the one that I'm I'm gonna take on the books, because not only did I do it, I broke record on record on record on record. Bro. Um, highlights. Yeah, one of my highlights was um. You know, starting this car industry, you know, the auto sale business and, uh, you know, middle of March last year, I'll be completing a year this March, a full year in car sales. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a roller coaster. It's been a lot of uh, different types of journeys and um, all meshed into one year, which is that's what makes it crazy to me. That's why time feels like it was stretched. and it's fun. It's just like, I'm a people person. So I get in front of people, I talk to them, and it's like, all right, what do we got to do? You know, selling, you know, selling cars. And I had a bad taste in my mouth at first with sales, you know, with cons, <clears throat> <laughs> furniture store. You know, that was kind of whack. But, anyways, this is a whole different, like, you know, fish. I'm so. It's a whole different tank. Exactly. I mean, know? it's a whole different beast. I, I would even consider that. What? That type of sale with cons. Um, what am I? Not to get too what, off subject. No, but yeah, but one of my one of my mentors in the car industry, he's all like, "Yeah, furniture sales is like bottom of the barrel. <laughs> it's like where you can start off, get some get some experience get some, in retail. Yeah. I guess right, customer yeah. service type stuff. But he's like bottom of the barrel. But I, like just three months, no training whatsoever. You know, just like hey, go out there. You know, throw me in the fire. How to learn everything and just sell some cars and make some decent money so like you know my neighbor which is uh, also my mentor and uh finance manager he's all like yeah you're gonna make life-changing money and like i saw it and i was like oh my god like you're right i can make a good amount of money just selling some cars and, yeah you know he's he's really wise man and so it's like i followed him to a another dealership and then he led me to this current dealership i'm at chrysler dodge jeep ram of richardson <laughs> and you know, it, I'm I'm under his dad. You know, he's the he's the director out there. You know, yeah. Shouts out! I got the strings. Come see me. So it's it's funny how it went full circle. Like he got me in the auto industry yeah, with his yeah. dealership. Another one. Then he's like, "All right, go work for my dad for a bit." And now, I will be moving to another dealership, Forest Lane, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come see your boy. Um, no, that's cool though, man. Yeah. I think. Uh, and that's, that's that was really the highlight, you know, just, just going into this new new, new adventure, chapter, you know, new chapter, new journey, new venture. Exactly, yeah. And just no, that's like cool, man. Being I, able to perform and actually do it, and I was I, like, wow, it was scary at first, you know, swimming with some sharks, but no. But here's the best part: you had a mentor. Yeah, you had yeah. somebody that you trusted. You mm-hmm. you took a chance. They took a chance on you. Yeah. You and saw potential that I even couldn't see. So. Exactly. And sometimes that's what you need. And I mean, you also took a chance because it's a two-way street, no matter what. Yeah. It's a two-way street. So you also took a chance. And that's awesome, dude. I hope I uh I wish you the best, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Help a brother out. I still need to make money. So 
Come buy a car. <laughs> if you need a car. If you want a car. My real name is Antonio Herrera, by the way. I go by Tony. T-O-N-Y. Like the tiger. <laughs> They're great. You're tired all, right. all the time. Every, oh, every male role model that I ever grew up with ever looked tired when I looked at them. And I said, dude, why do you look so tired? And they said, because I am tired. And I don't want to be like that. <laughs> dude, you, I, I mean, hold on. Is there anything that you guys say uh, that, oh, that you could remember that you used to tell yourself when you were younger? I'm never going to be like that when I get older. Yeah, I never, uh, the tattoo thing, I never thought I'd have tattoos. Are you serious? Yeah, never, ever. Wow, okay. Never, ever. That's so what's, what another, what's that. another thing then? Well, you know, there's, you know, drinking and smoking, but I mean... Well, I grew up, you know, around my my family who used to drink and smoke around me. Okay, okay. And growing up as a kid, I was just like, "You guys are dirty, bad. You're doing bad stuff." Okay, okay. So, so I mean, you since a kid, you're like, "I'm not gonna get a a tattoo. I'm not going to drink and smoke." Nope. So, what is it that you're like? Obviously, you're growing into this because you have this image, or, and really, when you're a kid, you're, you're you're set on what you say. Yeah. But I mean, what was the transition of growing up and seeing different points of views? Like, what really made it you decide to take out, it? Sometimes I like a drink, and sometimes I enjoy a cigar in between my fingers, and that's the change. I didn't know what I was talking <laughs> about. <laughs> hey, I'll take it, man. That's cool. That's cool. I think it's a good question for everybody. Do you remember your first time ever smoking or getting high? Smoking (laughs) anything or smoking marijuana? (laughs) Marijuana. Bro, guys, there used to be DVD players that were made into the TVs that we bought. (laughs) And you were. We thought that was going to stick around. Yeah, you were like, damn, you rich. You got the CD player integrated into your TV, bro. bro. No, son. Oh, excuse me, goddamn! You know your boy got work in the morning. What do you say is uh, your favorite your favorite part about being excuse me. young? What do you miss the most? Not having a worry in the damn world. Yeah. I didn't have any responsibility <laughs> at all. Well, okay, that's not true. I had chores, like that, right? <laughs> I had chores, and you know homework, but that's not anything like. The worries that I thought were like huge, yeah, huge yeah. like worries. They yeah. they weren't. They were so small. And to be in that world where the small things were my big worries, I missed that. I would say I wasn't very humble in the beginning. No. I think I grew into becoming humble. Yeah, and I think that's a big story too. I could attest to that. Yeah, yeah. I was I was not the person I am today, one thousand percent. So I'm 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 proud of the growth. Hell yeah. One like one thing, I'm proud of the growth. <laughs> when you get to, when you get the privilege of seeing your homeboys from elementary, middle, or high school grow up and you see the growth and the maturity, it's a beautiful sight to see. And they get to reflect that upon you as well and they see you grow up. It's awesome. I'm glad mm, to have our yeah, friendship. Yeah. So this Thank has you. been the Eddie V podcast for episode three, something completely different, different type of vibes. I hope that y'all all enjoyed it. You can catch me on TikTok. Hey, Eddie V. Uh, and we got Adrian. Where can they find you? Well, do you have a social media? Girl? No, no, no. You can find me, but I'm not going to be there. <laughs> all right. So we got Adrian, a.k.a. Ghost. Nice. <laughs> and we do have... A special uh, car salesman here today that does sell vehicles. So if you are looking to purchase a vehicle soon, someone that you can trust here in the Dallas area, uh, go ahead and uh, give them your um, login info. And go ahead and give them your uh, driver's license number. I'm just kidding. But honestly, where can everybody find you, Tony? I love my friends. You can find me on the ticket talk. It's Tony H. Cars. That, uh, no comment. But it's a Tony H. Cars on ticket talk. Uh, and you can also find me on uh, Instagram at... Um, Tony 
underscore underscore 2020. <laughs> right? That's all together. Lowercase T. Uh, and uh, you also see on my Instagram, there's a lot of posts of my previous customers that I've already bought. So, you know, everybody's happy. We all have fun. I consult you the right way. There's no BS around it. I'm straightforward. Come find out. Have some fun. I'm located anywhere. You can contact me, 214-907-3545. This has been awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. It's Yo. Check it out. This is Antoine Cornelius Jermaine the Third. We have our special guest over here, Adrian no. Benitez. No. We'll get to him in just a moment. This is the intro. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special guest, and he's gonna be uh, laughing all night with you because he's gonna be knocking your socks off. Trust me, he's got something lined up for you that just you'll take home and you're gonna spread it out to all your friends and family because it's gonna be a joke. He's got the punchline to knock you dead. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, my mom said. I'll never be able to do stand-up comedy, so I sat down. <laughs>